Hi, it's Anne Hathaway. Hi, I'm Nicholas Galatine. And I'm here to answer some of your questions. I'm here to answer some of your questions. About my new movie, The Idea of You. There were some that were fun, and then there were some that were so intense, like heartbreaking. But the one that did come to mind when I first saw this question was filming Dance Hall Days. Probably the dance sequence that Annie and I did together to Dance Hall Days. Hayes and Selena are in a hotel room in New York. And they're just being silly. And they're dancing to a great song. Dance Hall Days love! We didn't really choreograph it. Nick and I just kind of had a blast. There was there was a, there was a dance move. It was like with a chicken nugget and like a fry and it was kind of like one of those like weird little like body roll things. Yeah, it was fun, it was sexy, it was joyful. It was a lot of fun and, um, yeah, just like a really unique uh, scene to film. What was my first scene? My first scene was, again, with Annie. We were on a beach, which was supposed to represent the south of France, but we were actually in Savannah, Georgia. It was supposed to be summer. It was October, it was supposed to be warm, it was not. We were kind of thrust into it immediately because at this point in the story, we were very much in this romance together and we were having to make out and jump in this freezing cold water, pretending it was this lovely uh, Mediterranean sea. We jumped in the ocean, which as I mentioned was, was, was not warm. And then we went back to the beach and they made out. That was the first day. I think it was a really good way to bond with a co-star. Yeah, to break the ice. I think the film is sexy. Sexy, I'd say it's poignant. Smart. It's hopeful. And joyful. But it's like so many more than three adjectives. My favorite song in the movie, it's the piano version of Dance Before We Walk, which is a song that Hayes is working on when he meets Solen. He's kind of maybe dreaming of having a solo career. They're having this like hang and they keep going from place to place and they wind up back at her house and she gets a call from her daughter and he just sits down at the piano and he starts to play. Nick is just one of those crazy talented people. He can act, he can dance, he can play any instrument he picks up. And so he's just a lovely guy to be around. So anyway, so he sat down, he was just playing the piano so beautifully, take after take after take. And so yeah, just really beautiful memory of, of that song. Why'd you stop? Oh. God, can I look? I'm actually genuinely curious what the last song is, okay. But the last song I listened to was probably A&W by Lana Del Rey. I listen to that song whenever I can. <laughs> oh no, this is too embarrassing. I can't, I can't say that. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, okay. The reason why this is my my uh, last played song is because I was looking at a lot of Super Bowl halftime performances and I'd say one of my favorite Super Bowl halftime performances was when Creed sang Higher. So the last song I listened to was Higher by Creed. That's really embarrassing. I'm gonna put that away. <laughs> Can you take me higher? <laughs> okay. I'd say the craziest thing I've done for my crush was something I actually did quite consistently when I was a young hopeless romantic. My girlfriend was Spanish and I was this really broke young actor who was desperately in love. The cheapest tickets were from an airport in London that was really far away and it was in the middle of the night. So I would travel, take the train to the, air, uh, to the, the airport and I, I would sleep in the airport overnight uh, on my bags and uh, take three buses to get through Spain to her tiny little village where she lived, all in the name of love. I'm a Scorpio, so I don't get embarrassed very easily when it comes to crushes. We can go to the next question. <laughs> I, I have two very contrasting thoughts for this question. The perfect first date very much depends on the person that you're going on the date with. My husband and I went on our first date 15 years ago, 
and we believe we're still on it. So it's happening. I'm in the uh, yeah. I'm gonna get back to my first date right after this. I've had really amazing first dates where we've just gone to a park and walked around and had a drink. And I've also had a really amazing first date where we went and did an escape room, which teaches you a lot about the type of person that you uh, want to be with or maybe not want to be with. One of those two on the, on the, on the far extremes was, is, is acceptable for a first date. Morning. Morning. Snacks. AirPods. There'd be some good moisturizer. Face sheets. My woodworking kit would be in there. A book that will entertain you and one that will enhance you. Really, really a great smelling hand sanitizer. Well, that was enlightening. I think I learned some things about myself as well. That, that was so much fun. Thank you for those questions. Please, please, please be sure to check out The Idea of You on Prime Video. How did you guys meet? We need to know the story. We met at Coachella. Hi. Hi. This is your trailer? Yeah, I'm in the band. We're performing on the main stage. August Moon? Yeah. I met That's someone tonight. I feel a little inspired. This one's called Closer. Cause I want to get closer to you. Salen, we need you up front. Okay. Like, now. I don't know if you remember me, but we met in Coachella. Yes, I remember you. Well, I desperately need some artwork. Why don't we start in the back? I like these. Ah, fantastic. This piece is from my friend Sarah. What's it called? Unclose Me. And what do you feel when you look at it? Everything. What is that song? Uh, it's nothing, really. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. I'm too old for you. I got not. Did I not warn you? People hate happy women. What are you gonna do? You dress? No.